Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're doing the 1997 Four Winds 240 Horizon. Again, we're going to be working on the bottom side and then the top side, trying to get this old girl polished up. We've already taken the time to take off the decals. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Let's get this channel building up. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time to do that. Anyway, as I was saying, we've already taken off the decals. We have hit it with a litany of Meguiar's products. We've hit it with the wet sand first, the five, the thousand, the 91 Meguiar's, the 67 Meguiar's, the 45 Meguiar's, and we have brought the red gel coat back to life pretty well. Now, as I was walking around the boat, I did notice there are some areas where I didn't spend enough time, probably with the 67 buffing out the scratches. It is what it is this year. We're gonna move on. Um, Today, like I said, we're going to be hitting down here with our litany of Meguiar's products, not sponsored by Meguiar's. We're going to start with the 67, then we're going to go with the 45 there in the background, and then when it's all done, we're going to go with the flagship marine wax premium Meguiar's on the entire boat and get this all shined up. What we're going to be using for tools today is old Harbor Freight Drill Master Buffer, variable speed, DA polisher. I think those are now both the Bauer ones. The um, Harbor Freight wool pads. They're actually better than I thought. And then my Ryobi. Little thing. I didn't think this was worth it until I put the pad on in. Well, let's, let's put it in fast. That thing really cooks. Anyway, uh, so that's the plan today. So stick around. Mostly going to be hyperlapse as we get through the boat. Doing the bottom side, the top side. Making this thing shine. And here we go. All right, welcome back from Hyperlapse. Uh, so, you know, look at that. Nice little shine there. Uh, going pretty good. Really, you know, really cleaning it up nicely. What you can't see in Hyperlapse, I don't know if you can catch it here. Let's see if I can get the light right. Oh, yeah, right there. You see it? There is black dots. Oh, yeah, there's one right there, too. There's this black all over the boat. And I think it's, uh, I think it's road grime from trailering it or just from sitting out. So I gotta figure out a way to get that out. I think I'm gonna go get some acetone, see if the acetone takes it off. And if that doesn't, maybe some tarn bug remover, eh, we'll see. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna do underneath the boat, uh, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. So hang tight, I'll be back. All right, so a quick update. I've tried uh, all-purpose multi-surface cleaner. I've tried um, the Meguiar's 49 oxidation remover, just something maybe with a little more grit, uh, and acetone as well. And it's just, I mean, it, it helped it. You can't really see it. Uh, it helped it, but it's it's still there. And that took me a while. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just going with the one-step uh, 67 compound from Meguiar's and see how much I can get and kind of go from there this year and I don't know any ideas let me know as you can see it yeah, see that's a better angle you can see it's just it's everywhere on this boat and I don't know so you can see where I polished and where I didn't and there's still some in there so anyway uh, I'm gonna take some time and, and work on it and then get back to you well it's a short video today because uh, it's the end of the day and Doug did stuff Doug uh, that's me actually uh, we managed to finish compounding the bottom of the boat and we did the top side of the boat. We had a long day. We opened up the pool today just to have one of the pumps leaking water everywhere. So that's taken up most of the day. But as you can see, 
she has been shined up nice all the way around a couple places like right in here you can see it's a little bit dull i'm gonna have to get that by hand otherwise uh looking very good looking very good uh the other thing we encountered was uh, if you look under here you got a cut this is where the blower is you see those those two uh, those grills are um sun faded and weathered and just down right in bad condition and i broke one and it went down into the vent so we had to spend time fishing that out the other thing is while we were compounding we happened to hit the four winds and now it's gone it broke off and shoom, flung it so i gotta get, either fix that or find a new one anyway um yeah that's it for today hope you uh, enjoyed the short video and stick around for the next one uh when we clean the inside of the boat up there somewhere up, way up there inside there and uh take you along on that and then when we're all done then we'll wax it cool bye so like and subscribe